All right, welcome back. Today is something different. This is going to be a more of a how-to for someone who may be interested in buying a Ryder Erickson engine and getting into hot air. So we have a quarter scale Ryder Erickson. Um, I've had it for a while. I just put it back together, cleaned it up, repaired a couple things on it. And we have hooked up the gas line to a one pound propane tank. Okay, we have a barrel full of water. We have our water pump unscrewed so we can prime it. We have our firebox door open. And we are pretty much ready to get started and light it. So we're going to go ahead and, and get it lit. See if we can cover everything. All right. Obviously, we need a lighter. We need to turn the uh, propane on a little. Generally, oh, let's see if we can get you on. All right, we are trying to get a good look at the burner under here. So, I'm gonna, I am just reaching around back, turning that. Turning that burner back and forth, and I'm gonna try and go back to putting you on this thing so we can get some water in it. All right, so we are not gonna do anything too crazy. We're just gonna take a syringe. We're gonna put some water in it. We're gonna lift this barrel up. Expose the top of the pump, and we're just going to kind of kind of get it get it loaded up. <sighs> Obviously. All right, we're gonna give that a whirl. Uh, as far as oiling, I just put it all back together, cleaned it all up. Everything's pretty wet. We're gonna go ahead and let me zoom you back out. We are just gonna go ahead and put a little drop right up top. And we're going to see if it is warm enough to start. It is. And it is pumping. We got lucky. Wow. So it did something right. I'm going to put it back together. All right. So it's off and running. Obviously, obviously that's the top of the water pump that I unscrewed, used the syringe to fill up with water, and that pretty much was to prime the pump. Uh, obviously, our return comes out of the side of the cylinder. Obviously, the black pipe is our exhaust coming out of the firebox. We have our propane tank. Just a rubber hose that slips on our burner inlet on the back side. Obviously, it does get a little warm at the top. And 
She's running a little faster than I like, but... See if we can slow it down a hair. It's always difficult. So we have the fire down pretty low. The thing is, I've learned, I'm no expert, um, what I have learned is that it takes a little bit of time. I was just trying to wipe some of that water up. It takes a little bit of time for the actual adjustment of the fire to catch up with everything else in line. Okay. Um, it is in good shape. It is kind of polished and cleaned up. That includes the top of the cylinder and piston, power piston there. Okay, we can always stop it and restart it. Um, they always say leave it down bottom. If it's down bottom, it's going to build up pressure quicker. Just flip the flywheel to get it going. Uh, that right there this is the displacer piston. That one. That is what I oiled earlier. If you couldn't make it out, you couldn't see it. Uh, it has the stamping on the base. It has all brass hardware. See if our fire went out. It might be too low. And they're still there. We're, lit. We're just very slow. That's barely, barely lit. So it's barely gonna run. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna see if I can catch you here. And I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Obviously, that is a lot. So now she's going to obviously take off and run pretty fast. It's going to take a little bit for that heat to catch up. But you will notice the engine speed up once it does. Um, it is just on a rustic skid, uh, nothing real fancy. Um, it has handles on each end just so I could pick it up, take it to shows. Uh, obviously the barrel is removable for you know, being portable. You can see she's sped up and she's running and pumping. So anyway, it is going to go up for sale. Um, just time to clean house a little bit. But. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.